So I've just seen a very worrying tweet by Nigerian journalist Osasu Bayuana saying that the Nigeria Football Federation NFF elections slated for 30th of this month have been uh, stopped or have been halted by the courts. Uh, a court order has been issued. Um, and and this, is, this is bad because uh, Nigerians were really looking forward to the removal of the current FA president, Amaju Melvin Pinnick. They have the same urge to remove him as Kenyans want to remove this character called Nick Mwendwa. For those of you who don't know Amaju Melvin Pinnick and how he's affected your football, you think he's just affected Nigerian football, but he's, he's been a cancer to African football. Pinnick is the one who instigated the revolution against Dr. Isa Hayatou from Cameroon. He uh, convened FA presidents, but he was being guided in that direction and funded by FIFA president Gianni Infantino. Gianni Infantino, as you know, has colonized CAF. CAF, uh, now even the people who work there, uh, people who've come from Zurich, all the Africans have been sacked. And uh, all of this has been facilitated by PINIC, but this is how he started. He Here, first got helped to Gav. get rid of Dr. Isa Hayatou, and then they placed a puppet called Ahmad. Now, Ahmad didn't do anything in his first year in office. His first year in office, he was just sex tourism, moving city to city, just enjoying and living a good life. In fact, there was this time he went to Dar es Salaam, he went to a club and bought every lady there a bottle of champagne and spent $20,000 in one night. And this was one, a guy who nobody knew a year prior. So he, Ahmad came, Ahmad continued with corruption, and that guy, now, he was just eating money left, right, center, and psychophants. Yeah? And then they bred a whole new uh, culture of FA presidents. These FA presidents don't do anything. They just sit, they eat their country's money, then they wait for FIFA money, and then they wait for CAF money, then they travel to have good life. They don't do anything for football. And this is a culture that has been bred by Pinnick. Now, to, to solve the problem that he initially created when he brought a clown called Ahmad, he now brought another billionaire called Patrice Motsepe. Now we moved from bad to worse, from the frying pan to the fire. Motsepe is the guy now who has not done anything. That guy, even his Cairo office, he's never even stayed there even for one day. And there's an office in Cairo allocated for him. And who was propping him up? Still this same clam con, uh, called uh, Amaju Pinnick. And then don't forget Pinnick said that uh, qualifying for the World Cup is Nigeria's birthright. They didn't even qualify. This guy talks big, delivers zero. I've never met a fake guy in my life like Amaju Pinnick. Nigerians want to get rid of him. Africa wants to get rid of him. But this, this guy called Gianni Infantino, in, uh, uh, the guy, the Muzungu in, in Switzerland... He has so many court cases in Switzerland, but he still he wants Pinnick there because he needs puppets. He needs people who can sell out Africans. And the, 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 the FA presidents who are there, led by Pinnick and his cohorts, they can sell out Africa for even $10,000, $5,000. They, they are paid little money to sing his praises. They, now that's why we want to start by getting rid of Amaju Pinnick. And if the courts are Hindering that objective, I would suggest to the Minister of Sports of Nigeria, Sunday Dare, to do what the Kenyan minister did and disband the federation, the Nigeria Football Federation. It's time to disband it now. Don't be held hostage by a thug like Amaju Pinnick and uh, his uh, Swiss cohorts. They are all thieves. They've not done anything. They just steal African football money. Gianni Infantino came, he forced FA presidents in their stupidity to cancel a contract. Now uh, CAF has no money. And now Gianni Infantino is the one who is selling the TV rights. And they sold it with a company which was guaranteed by Patrice Motsepe's insurance firm. I'm telling you the corruption which is there. I, you just need time to sit with me. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'd rather, I'd rather even do a podcast, a full podcast for this. So that you know these are Majupinic character, these are Majupinic clown. He needs to go. He's the most useless guy in, in the history of African football. He needs to go. Nigerians do what you gotta do. Get that nigga out of football now.